Michino! Teresa Yuri Norbani. Lingsa in a Borma. Ova Bay. Dorna Bay. Arrange. Teresa. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, thanks for joining us. Today I am bringing you our Birch Legacy story. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. It would seem that she is just out here dealing with the pumpkins. So we'll go ahead and spray for bugs. I am not quite sure, but it looks like Patchy does struggle with <laughs> staying awake and helping us with this. Oh dear, sweet raven. Like, honestly. So I am going to just go ahead and let her collect the eggs and feed the chickens. And then she'll just go ahead and run in here to the washroom. And from there, then she can get herself a bite to eat. And then quickly we will go into the house and she is going to need to obviously do a bit of research. As you saw in the beginning of this episode, Michaela has been contacting some of the ancestors and has been talking about our dear sweet Raven. And we know now that definitely Michaela is involved in her life and is part of her family, but Raven doesn't quite know that yet. And there are a lot of secrets that Raven still has yet to find out. First and foremost, that being that she comes from a long line of um, some type of magical being. And so these, these are things that she is definitely going to need to go ahead and get to know because I think that would really explain to her why she never really f fit in. Did we lose our power? We did. Okay, well, let's, let's pay the bills. <laughs> She's like, Hi, Kira. Thanks for coming to visit. So, what have you been up to? And he's like, oh, you know, like, I just wanted to check on you after you talked to that lady and see how you were feeling. I know that you were hoping for more information. And I think she would just be like, I mean, I was, but I'm not discouraged at all. Like, there's no reason for me to be discouraged. I mean, honestly, I am so right about this. Like, I just know that we're related. It doesn't matter that she doesn't say to me that we are. I know we are, and I'm going to prove it. So, as we know, she, she just absolutely is not going to take no for an answer. Why can she not pay these bills? That is seriously annoying. All right, so come out here and pay these bills. Can you pay them? Yes. Okay. Jeez. Once you're done paying the bills, you can go ahead and get yourself a bite to eat. And then once her breakfast is done, we will go ahead and get some studying and browsing the web going on. Honestly, I'm over this fruitcake. Is that what she's eating again? Yes. I guess she likes it. I don't really know. All right, so we will do browsing of the web. And she's going to then find out what she can So she's going to find out what she can about her family. She's like, I'm not giving up, Akira. I know that you think that what I got was negative information, but I didn't. I didn't get negative information. I got secretive information, and I am, I just know, I just know that this is, I just, I don't know. I can't explain it, but something about me just, in my gut, I know. He's probably thinking, okay. If you say so, dear. She's like, I know it. I know I'm going to know it. It's fine. It's absolutely perfectly fine. He 
He's like, you know, Raven, one of the things that I love the most about you is that you are so positive and nothing discourages you from finding what you want to find. Honestly, I think some days that you should have been a journalist. She's like, I don't know that I want to chase that kind of story. But this is about me and my past. If it were you, Akira, what would you do? And I think he's going to be like, well, I mean, I guess when you put it like that, that's exactly what I would do is what you're doing. Because, yeah, it probably isn't a good feeling to not know where you belong. She's like, no, it isn't. All of the villagers around Hemford on Bagley have been needing help lately. Well, okay. <laughs> He's like, okay, you know what? No matter what, I am on your side. So if you think there's something to be learned here, then I am going to listen to you and I'm going to believe you. So she's like loving the fact that he is believing her and he wants to, you know, help her out in any way that that needs to be done. So she's loving that. Like that support is all she ever really needed or wanted. And she is definitely living for that. We're just going to go out here and harvest these pumpkins. I don't think they're getting any bigger than what they are. <laughs> So we're about to have ourselves a inventory full of pumpkins. Yeah, 20 pumpkins so far. That's quite a bit. All right, so 40 pumpkins is worth 2,331 simoleons. So that was a pretty, pretty good day's work, if I do say so myself. That being said, I am going to go ahead and get her to purchase some lettuce and mushrooms and... Uh, Let's just get two of each of those and we will get her to plant them. All right, so she'll come out here and she'll plant these seeds and then we will have some more plants that we can get growing. How are you doing, Salsa? You planning any time to like age up and whatever? And what about checking for seeds? We'll do a little bit of that as well. And I think that she's just going to go ahead and um, spend some time with Akira, who's share big news. What? Oh my god. No, 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 no. What? Oh my heavens. From unprotected woohoo, it is thrilling to discover a life growing inside you. I was not. No, 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 no. We don't want a baby. Not yet. It's not. No. That totally messes up my story. Okay, they are expecting, so we're gonna go and tell him the big news and see what he has to say about it, I guess. Okay, I wasn't expecting this at all. Um, forget about the seeds, that's not important right now. Akira, do not leave. <clears throat> Akira, don't you dare leave. All right, let's see what Akira has to say about this news. What did he say? What does he think? Sorry about the camera skills. I'm just trying to get a look at his face. He's like, you're what? You know what, Akira? I um, felt exactly the same. Yeah. Exactly the same as what you're feeling right this second. Yeah, I was pretty shocked myself because, I don't know, you guys weren't supposed to do that. But, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. You just... It is a story-based um, gameplay, so I started this out wanting to just let them live their lives, and then I had the story come to my mind, and I was like, oh, this is going to be so great. And now, Raven's like, oh yeah? Did you think so? Well, watch this. 
So, I think that Akira and Lovely Raven are probably going to need to get hitched. Um, they're seriously in love with one another, so let's see what their sentiments are about one another. So they are deeply connected. Both of them share that. They're best friends, boyfriend, and soulmates, and he is perceived as her as very attractive, and they are closer from happy memories. Now, let's see what he thinks about the baby. Raven's partner took the news of the pregnancy rather well. They're hoping to have children are, and are glad to share this experience with Raven. What a relief. So he's happy. So if he's happy, I'm happy. And if she's happy, I'm happy. So, yep, we're having a baby. And, yep. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. So we are just getting him to propose. And is she going to say yes? Of course she is. All right, so we are, yeah, we're pregnant, and we're get <laughs> okay. Oh my god, they're actually the sweetest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh my heavens, this is so great. All right, so now that it says they're both deeply in love, so, and they're engaged. Like, they are actually so cute together. I don't even think that they would be upset. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. So, they are happy. I think at some point they probably should move in together. And, um... His house is absolutely lovely, but does not have a nursery. So this will be the house they will be living in. But as we well know, this house is not conducive to them. Okay. It's just not conducive to them having a family like that, right? Like... All right, so he's going to stay over. I'm going to get her to have herself a bit of a bath. I do want her to go ahead and get a little bit more of her research going because, I mean, just because she has decided to do what she wants and have a kid. Um, we still have things that we need to find out about Michaela because, as we know, Michaela definitely is somehow related and was reaching out to the Birch ancestors talking about Raven and how she is getting really close to finding out the secret that they've tried to keep hidden for so long. And, you know, in that situation, is Raven going to find out the secret? Is she, like, what does that mean for Raven? So we're definitely going to need to make sure that... Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm flabbergasted right now. Um, we're going to need to make sure that um, she obviously... I mean, she's having a kid now. So that kind of throws a, a wrench in the storyline because honestly, like... Mm, any danger that might have befallen on Raven is now a chance that it might affect the little bubble roo that she has growing inside of her. So, she does, ha does have several other outfits um, that she can wear. I mean, I think you might need shoes for this one. Just, I don't know, I guess. Um, let's give you these. Or these. Oh my heavens. Raven, you sure do know how to throw a curveball. She's still just absolutely bloody adorable. I can tell you that. Okay, I think her outfits are okay. Alright, well, since you're. Oh. Okay. Well, since you are uh, not feeling yourself, 
go ahead and use the washroom. I'm gonna have her serve up some dinner. They can do, um, let's do chicken stir fry. And then I'm gonna have her go ahead and head off to bed. And yeah, I don't even know at this point. I just don't even know. Actually, she needs to water that stuff and then she can go to bed. Is he already in bed? Yeah, he is. All right, so we'll get her into bed as well. And then I will catch back up with you guys in the morning. Mind you, it's like after midnight, but we've had a very eventful day here at Raven's Place. Okay, so it is the next morning and here we are with a naked Akira. I don't really know why, but he's naked watching the news it looks like so also it is harvest fest so i'm just gonna have her go out and tend to the chickens and then she's gonna come in and cook a grand breakfast for the two of them and i don't know maybe we'll try to appease these gnomes let's give them i really don't know let's give this one coffee and let's give this one pie sounds like a great plan is there any more no like what smells in this house? I see flies. Oh, it's this. Okay, so we'll have her throw out the pumpkins because they've gone off. Actually, I think maybe, can maybe I do that? Marco. Okay, Akira, can you put some clothes on? All right, so we'll just throw these in the trash. Oh dear. Did that not work? No. Why can't I throw them away? Strange. Akira, don't leave. Come over here and ask, uh, invite to join cooking. Oh, maybe he's stuck. I know. Something wrong? Are you sick? Yes, she has a headache, a cough. She has the stumpy flu. And she's contagious. Okay, well, how do I fix that? Crud. Can I get you to... she like cooking flip those flapjacks toss that sauce raven is in her element does she want to gobble up this opportunity to embrace that she likes cooking yes she does and i really need to see if maybe i can get you some medication yeah sickness medication perfect and then go ahead and let's What's the deal? Let's clean that. Can you? Oh, there he is sitting down. I don't know what he's doing, but let's call it a grand meal. Can we not do that? I am not sure. All right, so we'll just let her deal with what she needs to do and then have ourselves a bite to eat. Uh, 
as we well know, this house is not going to be big enough for very long. So this may be a situation where we need to get them hitched and find a house that they can move to. I know that she was given this land, but maybe they need to be moving um, to somewhere that has a bigger home. I wasn't exactly expecting this to go off this quickly like this, but Raven had plans of her own. Yeah, let's uh, appease the gnome, pie. Appease the gnome, coffee. I said that already once. But can you not get out of there? I think he's trapped in our living room. She's just having a meal to herself here. Because for some reason she can't call anyone to the meal. And she wants to be with Kira. All right, so both of those guys were happy. That's beautiful. All right. Akira, I don't know how to get you out of my house. Call over. She is so sick, the poor thing. Okay, this table has got them blocked in. So let's just move these chairs and see if he can get out. Can you get out now? Yes. Now about to pee yourself. Great. Hmm. Hi, Patchy. Okay, bye, Kira. <laughs> Got you untrapped and then you're like, see ya. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go check my... Oh, crud. That's not good. Perfect. So now the only thing we need to do is have a thankful spirit. So let's find Patchy. All right, Patchy. Let's, uh... Can we be thankful with you? Maybe. She's like, oh, hey, by the way. I don't know if you heard, but I found somebody that I think might be related to me. Yeah, I'm doing a bunch of research, and I don't know, it's, it's coming along. But on top of all of that, I'm also pregnant. So we'll tell him the big news. Just sitting here, not doing any gardening. So it looks like Harvest Fest went off without a hitch, and she's going to have herself a very good Harvest Fest. She found out, um, basically that she's pregnant and got engaged during Harvest Fest. So overall, she's having a pretty decent holiday. She's oh, such a doll, but so sick. Um... So, yeah, I think she's overall really happy. She has been doing a lot of research, and I think, honestly, um, she's going to probably go back to Glimmerbrook at some point soon because she wants to do a little bit more investigating and digging around that neighborhood. So let's go ahead and travel to Glimmerbrook, and I think that she would know that Akira doesn't want her to go alone, but she also knows that Akira lives in Glimmerbrook, so she's like, I'm sure it'll be fine. If I need him, he's nearby. I'll just give him a, a ring. Like, it'll totally be okay. So we're going to head her off to Glimmerbrook. And she's going to just go and do some investigating and see if she can figure out what's going on. So as you can see, she did come out this way. But she did not, indeed, go to Akira's. Instead, she came over to Michaela's area and it's just like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and just scope things out. I want to know what the deal is with this woman. I lied. She's going to play soccer. No, <laughs> no, really, though. She just wants to know what exactly is going on with this person. And, um, and she's going to obviously... Um, kind of look, take a look around and just see like, 
Okay, what is the deal with this lady? Why is she so secretive? What is it that she doesn't want me to know? So she's just scoping out around her house and she's on her bike and she's like, okay, we're just gonna go and we're gonna ride around and we're going to see what is what. Like, I wanna know what's going on. Maybe there's some answers out here. Like, does Michaela like video gaming? Sure. That's random. So she's like, La -da -da. oh this is a beautiful place it's very lovely like oh my god it's so beautiful what in the hell is that so she is extremely curious so I think she would be like all right I'm gonna go closer I'm gonna try to figure out what this is like what is that oh this is fascinating I can't believe I... how did I not notice this the other day when I was here wow this is amazing what does it do? It's so pretty. It just draws a person in. I've just... Oh my God. The swirling vortex appears to lead to a realm beyond our own reality. Do you dare cross the threshold? Well, yep, she's gonna go ahead and enter the portal. So as you can see, she has ended up over here in this area and she's just like, where am I? This is insane. What? does it all mean like what is this place so she's just gonna go ahead and go inside here and we're going to have her take a look and she's going to see all these crazy markings on the floor and she's gonna be like what is what does all this mean so she's just going to come and she's going to take a little look around to try to figure out what is what with everything I'm going to have her come and just, you know, talk to people and um, I think she'll, you know, come in here and she'll see this book about familiars and she's just going to look at it and be like, okay, oh, look, there's one of those very big bowls just like Michaela had. And what is this lady doing? I'm going to come over here and say hello and find out what's going on. So I think she's probably like, okay, all of these people are a little different. Like, where have I ended up? And so she's just looking around thinking to herself, this is wild. This place is crazy. Like, surely this can't be real. I must be dreaming. How did I end up in some alternate reality? Like, where are we? Look at this place. Like, what does it all mean? Oh my gosh. I mean, it's gorgeously beautiful, but like, what does it all mean? So I do think that she would maybe um, want to know, like, what exactly is the deal with this place and who could she ask and get answers from? So I'm just going to have her go ahead and talk to this gentleman here. And she's going to say to Morgan, like, <clears throat> what is this place? Who are you people? I don't really know, but I found this entrance to something. It was quite beautiful and it was like really drawing me in. And it was almost like I could hear voices whispering, but I don't know what's going on. And now here I am and you guys don't seem, I don't know. I just feel like maybe I, don't fit in here, don't belong here. I don't even really know how I got here, but you know, what What does it all mean? And he's gonna say, you know, actually this is the magic realm. And she's gonna say, the magic what? <laughs> you must be kidding. Like, what do you mean by the magic realm? Like magic isn't real. Um, actually, yeah, it is. And if you were able to hear the voices in the portal, then there must be some magic somewhere in you. She's like, oh, come on. And he's like, let me show you. I'm going to open your eyes. You're going to see what I'm talking about. She's like, what does that mean? I'm going to see what you're talking about. I don't see anything. But as no, Raven 
does have some type of magic in her already. Because if we remember, and you probably maybe didn't notice, but she in her inventory has always carried around this weird stone that she has always had ever since she was a toddler. And she's like, I don't really know what it means, but it always seemed really, really important. And I could hear it humming. And so I didn't want to get rid of it because clearly it, it meant something special, but she doesn't know where she comes from. She doesn't know what it means. So she never really thought much about it. She just made sure she always had it on her person because she felt better when it was with her. And now it was really easy for her to basically just be tapped into that magic and he activated the magic in her. And I think this was what Michaela meant when she was talking to the ancestors and basically just saying like, Raven's getting close. And if we don't want her to know where she comes from, we're going to have to put a stop to it quicker than like sooner than later, because she's getting close. And in true Raven fashion, being the curious one that she is and doing all of the research, she didn't find the answer she wanted. She decided to snoop around only to stumble upon a portal that sang to her, just like her glimmer stone does. And she's found herself now in the magic realm with a power that has been activated. So she has now been brought into her normal birthright of being a spellcaster, but she doesn't know what that means. I don't think she even really knows what they've done to her. I'm sure she will learn soon enough. And especially when Michaela sees her and sees that she now is handless. She now is handless. Um, but what's like, look at you go with your pregnant belly and everything like girl, you're a queen. But yeah, once Michaela sees that her power has been activated, she's going to have no choice but to tell Raven everything. Because as we know, they now were unable to put a stop to this because Raven was so curious, too curious for her own good, just like Akira was worried about. And now a whole new can of worms have been opened. So I think this is a good place to go ahead and leave it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of Raven and this newfound information, as well as her surprise pregnancy that kind of came upon us. And click the subscri subscription notification if you want to be notified of new episodes when they go live. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.